<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Velez. Good evening. What's up, bro? How you doing? Thank you for making it, man. Thank you so much for having me. You're good? You're comfortable? You got I'm good. Drink? I'm good. I'm excited. My first podcast. Oh, oh, you know? Yep. Here yep. we go. So, uh... <clears throat> Look, I wanted to have you on because not only are we going to talk about like a little bit of band shit, but I, I was driving to Buffalo and I was listening to Pearl Jam. Natasha Steven, I'm listening to Pearl Jam, just jamming to all the songs. And I remember the, the first concert I went to Pearl Jam was with you, remember? Yep, yep I remember. Where was that? That I was heard? Lockhart Stadium, Fort Lauderdale. What year was that? Oh, man. It's got to be 90. Well, I'll tell you, it was 95 because Pearl Jam was the band that fought Ticketmaster. That's and right. that was the year that they said that they were charging too much for tickets and they were not going to use them and they went on their own, fulfilled. That's right. And we paid, jeez, in 95? You paid. Well, yeah. <laughs> Don't I always pay? <laughs> that clear. <laughs> uh, man, we paid 40 bucks for the tickets. That's crazy. We jumped in my car and we, we drove. Right, right. And we were there, man. We experienced Pearl that. Jam. It was awesome. It's not like even a band. This. It's a musical experience. <sighs> my favorite. <laughs> for, the re- <laughs> for the record, they are my favorite band too, of man. all time. Me too. Me too. You put me on a- to Any genre of music, no matter what, they're my favorite of all time. What did you say? Genre? <laughs> genre vocal? Genre, but listen, the Stella got in the way a little. Man, listen, ever since you put me on a Pearl Jam, I haven't stopped listening to them. So, okay. So, <clears throat> anyways, I so, said a fight. Shout out to uh, shout out to Stella. We were saying shout out to Stella. Yeah, if we did. What is your favorite? I, I, I'm gonna say Stella. Shit. Really? Yeah, on, I guess. Really? Yeah. Back in the day, you were drinking. No, shit. no, no, no. But I mean, when someone turned me on to it, it's I just like it, man. It's I don't know. Stella's my favorite beer. My favorite beer, like for a while, raining is Coors Light. Jesus, like, that's, that's what my singer boy. drinks. Oh, is it really? <laughs> Coors Light, that's what he drinks. Who, who, Rick, that? Rick, that's right. Shout out Rick, to Rick. Shout Rick out to Castro, Rick. lead singer of Crimson Sun. Shout out to Rick. Yeah, that's right. My all in boy. Shout out yes, to Crimson sir. Sun. I was gonna tell you, um, but you also play with another band, right? Uh, RSM. RSM. I'm a guitarist for Ryan Stone Music. That's cool. That's right. If you guys right. haven't seen it, check it out. We're on Spotify. I mean. Everywhere, YouTube, Ryan Stone Music. Check it out if you haven't had a but chance. That's a great name. Well, it's a real name. That's is his really? name. You know that's his name, name, Ryan how Stone. You know, no. people change their names. Right, right. No, but that's his name, like Ryan, Ryan Stone. Stone. Hey. He, the thing is, he's a singer songwriter. So he's not a guy, he's not a band guy, yeah. not a musician. You know, yeah. he's a dude on an acoustic guitar, writes cool tunes, and then it just transcends over to, you know, a bunch of musicians, and that's it. And so what, <clears throat> how do you, like, fucking bobble? that, bro? I don't like, know, What the man. fuck? Like, work. practice this here and there? Work. We don't even practice, man. None of my bands even practice anymore. You're it's like, you're like yeah. hey, it's tomorrow. What the yeah. fuck? By the way, let's do this song that oh, we've really? never done before. Yeah. Really? That's great, but that's going to be awesome. Yeah. What yes. do you prefer? You uh, prefer being on the guitar or the man. drums? I, Damn. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wow. Do you like Lakers or Celtics? Well, Peanut see, butter here, or here, jelly? here's the thing. Uh, drums is my first instrument, so that's that's on instinct. So I I could do that with my eyes closed. Guitar is more of a challenge because it's my yeah, second instrument. Yeah, so I gotta yeah. think about what I'm doing. I'm not as free. Versus, you know, if you put me on stage right now in front of seventy thousand people with let's say Pearl Jam, with a tight, I'd be like dress. if I've been doing yeah. Well, if you well, want, well. I'd be like if I've been doing it forever with yeah. them. If you told me oh I played like a song or two on guitar, eh. So. But your question was which one I like better? Guitar. I, guitar. Yeah. I know, I know. The freedom. I can tell, man. The freedom. Drums Although you're a bad at... Listen, most yeah, people don't whatever. know this. Most people don't know this. Like, you didn't go to class. You didn't nah. take classes. You didn't born. fucking... You just... I always say, I didn't choose music. Music chose me. It's like, that's a Malcolm X line. That's fine. <laughs> you get out of it. <laughs> so what does he know about music? No, no. <laughs> we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Like, yeah, whatever. It's the same shit. But no, no, listen, for real. Like, like when I met you, I was like, what, this guy fucking just plays drums? Like, you just play drums? How, did, how, how does someone do that? How, did, how do you know, magically man. just play drums, bro? Uh, yeah. Oh, how dare you? That's Cobb, too. <laughs> Cobb, I'm putting Shout you out to there. Cobb. Cobb. Shout out to Cobb. Yes, Cobb, I got you that. shit on silent, man. God damn. <laughs> Sorry. Airplane mode. Uh, I get no respect. Okay, let me put it Shout on Shout out to Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, he was great, man. He was, right? He was one of the... Most people, like, when, and at our age, he was already doing, like, movies like Back to School and yeah, all that, but he was stand-up was, was phenomenal. Sp- you know what? Now that, you know, you and I love comedy together, because 
You always say I'm the you're the one that makes everyone laugh, and I'm the one that makes you laugh. Isn't that funny? Yeah. You're like the guy that makes everyone yeah, yeah. laugh, but the one who makes Chris laugh is me. This is like a Have you seen that tone. show uh, with uh, what's his face? Um, Seinfeld. It's mm. called Oh, uh, in, comedians in coffee in cars. I have seen it, and it's just this what it's we're doing. Fantastic. It's what we're doing. No, no, it's even better. You know what he does? He 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 looks at the comedian and goes, all right, look, I'm going to pick up so-and-so. Right. Hmm. And then he goes and gets the vehicle yes. that he thinks applies yes. to his character. Yes. And they ride around in it. Like, that's so just his, The pilot was Eddie Murphy was his first guy. Wow. That was wow. the first dude. I think he had it. Didn't he have that before? This is season two or something like that. I, I don't know. I might be wrong. Right? I, don't I don't know. You know what happened to me the other day? I was, I was going to ask you about this. <clears throat> okay. We're, I'm in my 40s already. I mean, I got a little gray beard. Like, you remember when you first got your first grays? I, I was picking them out. I was like, I got to get your shit out. <laughs> and then you turned into like, maybe I'll dive them. And then you turn into like, shit, I got to support them. I'm like a fucking I'm, old man. Yeah. yeah. Damn so right. So I'm there now. I'm, I'm at the old man. Like, so you're in the Beowulf stage. I'm in the stage. fucking you're Beowulf. Beowulf. I'm Beowulf You're right Beowulf, Beowulf right now. I'm Beowulf. I'm no one knows. If exactly. I knew, Him and I only, <laughs> only if I knew those lines, know. I'd say them right now. Those Beowulf lines from the movie. Anyways, my point is, I got the gray, and I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm going to own it. I'm fucking, I got the grays, and I still get carded. Like someone, really? Someone will be like, yeah, you have your ID. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm split right there. and I'm split down to half because I'm like, God, right. you get carded still. Exactly. Really? Look, 50% is like, yeah. <laughs> right, and the other, like, what? the other piece is like, what the fuck? Why do I have gray <laughs> hair? Like, this is code. This is code. It's funny you say dying. Because a couple of a shit? couple of months ago, I was like, <laughs> I was like, what would it look like? I go to fucking Publix, get did you just really? for men. What did you do? The just black? like a dark brown. You just look like to a see fucking it. pirate. It came out of the a pirate is going out wedding. Like I'm oh, like my, never my wife again. Made this. Never again. Yeah, you can't. You know, like at one point, I think when that was invented, is there a reason you're not drinking your beer. And I at am. one point, because it was invented, the the dying shit, people were doing it. Let me die. I mean, they still do it now. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people that can't grow the beard and have like little patches. Yeah. The barbers do a little like inking and uh, inking, huh? What, what is that all about? How do you feel about that? Like enhancing inking? your beard? No, no, no. And, like I love your inking. Beard. Oh yeah, <laughs> tattoos. Tattoos. I'm thinking about getting another one. I'm then, ready, then, man. Then I you already... go down that slope where you're like, and another one, and another one. My thing is the honestly, it's the pain, dude. I don't care. It depends about, where you get it. I don't, don't get them on your dick. Don't get them on your dick. Don't get them on your nipples. <laughs> I don't care about the money part. It's the pain, dude. Here's the thing. The, this somebody taught me this. An OG taught me with a yeah, tattoo. Yeah, see my new. Here's my newest it. one. Nice. Uh, he probably made. He probably uh, made this nice. up. But here's the deal. That's the Pearl Jam stick man, by the way. Yeah. Shout out to Pearl. Shout, Shout out to Eddie Vedder. Like Eddie Vedder. No, don't make fun of him. No, no. Bro, are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> I'd love to have. <laughs> you want to hear a joke? Go for it. He has that err about him, right? So. Guess who's the king of the Ur? Elvis. So who's the prince of the Ur? <laughs> Jim Morrison from the Doors. Nice. So Eddie is the Duke of Ur. Oh my God. Really? <laughs> is that where they're at right now? Is there someone else? who comes after that? There's no after the Duke. Nobody, right? <laughs> no, hey, that's it. the guy who takes so the towels. It's Elvis, off. Jim Morrison, and, and Eddie the Butler. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. What was I going to say right before you fucking made that joke? That's, don't sorry. ever say that joke. Don't ever tell that joke. I'm oh, sorry. oh, tattoos. Look, the pain is about, this is what the pain is about. The pain is reminding you, like, at the moment, like, motherfucker, you're never going to take this off. Like, this is on forever. So that tat, whatever that tat meant, whatever you decided, decided to pick, even if it's a design you're freestyling, like, that's the moment where I feel you connect and you're like, here's where it means shit. The rest of your life, you're just putting lotion on and telling somebody, yeah, but, I got but, this but in 1994. I will, I, will, I will tell you That's that, the moment. That. That's the moment. Um, it's just like everything. A car is a car, but you could drive a, you could drive a Camry or a Corvette. Clearly, the Corvette's the winner in that aspect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold what do on. you mean by that? Just because of engine size? No, okay. Yeah, right. Camry and be a Corvette. We're going to buy... Okay. Come we're going to We're going to go buy sneakers Corvette. at the store. Do I go to Champs or do I want a Payless? They're both sneakers. Mm, right? Good one. That's a good, but that's the way it if is. You want so with tattoos, check it out. Less, what, when no you said intended. depends what you get, I chose this Japanese art because ev almost everybody has a tattoo. And look, no knock to what you got because that's all personal shit. Mm, but Chinese, Chinese I, I No, but I like the fact that people compliment me. They're like, wow, that's nice. Like, it's not just now a tattoo anymore. And I was right. like, wow, it's a portrait. Like, that's a. But, like, what made you get it? 
Well, no, I mean, you, on, like honestly, it, honestly, it has, even if the it's, vanity part, because I'm a musician, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I want to play drums justice. and have a tap. But and when I, I love that art. You love that culture. But when I when I said when I said I'm gonna get it, I made sure that it's not just scribble scrap in New York City. You know, yeah, yeah that's yeah. where that is. That's what that is. Right, after. that's the scribble part. That's a dope tattoo. Though. It is, but it to me, I'm like, hmm, why? No, I gotta, I gotta work around it and hide, not hide, but not it make this a focal. It. I don't, I don't want to make this a focal point because no, look how art. artistic this is. I mean, even my this is one piece. Look though. at my chess piece, even the whole. Hey, this is PG thirteen. No, you know what I'm saying. So I said, man, if I'm gonna do like you said, put something for my rest of my life. Feel the pain. That's it like better a big be canvas. A though. Corvette. Right. Not a Camry. You know what I'm saying? No <laughs> shot to you. No, no. But could you have a Camry on your shoulder? No, here's my but, thing. But on I, the left side, you have this canvas where you're like, it's, it's art. A it's canvas, art. Man. You can't just have a koi fish by itself. It has to have I have a dragon, else. I have a python. Right. All the lotus All flowers with a black. With a big pearl. ecosystem. There's <laughs> the magical Dr. <doctor laughs> Strange pearl. <laughs> No, no, fuck that. Listen, every tattoo for me. So for, look, I have a problem sometimes. People like covering tattoos, but you have to. I, my boss tells me why. I, she asked me why do you cover your tattoo? Yeah. My boss. You've covered. Right? Like, You've covered. I cover my tattoo every day to go to work. No, I no, no, sleep. no, no. I don't make cover. I oh, mean, you mean like, like retat like where you've I covered did, it I've, old I've done two of them. Okay, I still have my shitty tattoo on me. Like I haven't. No, un- no. My I shitty haven't tattoo is the chest. I had, remember that skull with the snake. <laughs> I had to remember it was right here. Like yo, I got a badass skull with cobwebs right there. and a shotgun you coming out of his forehead. Yeah, yeah. And, and then here I had a black that. widow. Like, what were we thinking? Like, like, dude, trust know. me, man. I got a crown of thorns around my bicep. Like, what the fuck? Fake Jesus crown of thorns around my <laughs> White like, Jesus. Why Jesus. Jesus not even Jesus white. <laughs> Listen, I always get, I always ask this question to people who, who love boxing, and you're a big boxing oh, fan. Oh, God, I am love it. Huge boxing fan. What do you, okay, look. I know it's not the same. Right now, we're not in the golden era, but we're in a pretty good time. There's a couple of guys. I've been watching this. fights. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Let me tell you, you, yeah. you resuscitated me because I, I, I I'll, be, I'll, 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 I'll go on the, the record ground. and I, I, I was like two years not watching shit. Yeah, and yeah. you'd be like, hey, come over, come over. And then you, you I mean, I, OD listen, I didn't even, yeah, I, I was totally like out of it. I gave you Narcam, like, let's go, get I up. didn't know who, honest to Triple G, you were like, dude, you haven't seen this guy. I was like, no, man, I don't even watch boxing anymore. You were like, bro, you're fucking kidding me. And mm-hmm. boom, and I started watching again. I was like, oh, shit. So you kind of resuscitated there, me. Yeah, it's this. Man, listen, the sport is the sport. It's just like they say. The streets don't change. It's the signs and the people and shit. But the street's the street. Yeah, the yeah, sport's yeah. the store. It's just, you know, just... Okay, so... Going to what you were going to say. I just want to know your opinion. Just get it on record. Everybody needs to know. Both of them in their primes. Mike Tyson versus Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson. Right, right. He knocks him out. Why do people... he knocks him out? Exactly. Like, exactly. like he's going to sleep. Exactly. That rope a dope shit and Muhammad. I ain't taking shit away from you. Yo, but you, everybody yo. says, <laughs> I'm a very detail oriented guy. Gonna, you know me. Yeah, I'm a lot of Anna, people are gonna be upset. Um, gonna I be don't upset give a shit. I'm like Joe fucking Rogan. I'm transparent. <laughs> you. Everyone says both in their prime. Okay? In their prime. That's the cool. That's the key. That's the key. Right. People don't realize he's the youngest heavyweight, and we're in 2019, and boxing started in what 18, whatever 18. When, so, Manny, can you look that up? Yeah. What, what when did it? boxing start? I love this. This is awesome. The origin. I um, can. You got to make me. I can't just be the pilot guy. No, I got to no, be like every third you're show kind of guy. You know. You're I want to be come a, back on. You're gonna come back. Listen. On. Let's let's make a deal. Cause I'm your boy, bro. You are my Dan boy. Levitard's two gods. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you Dan Levitard. Ju- yes. Man. Earliest evidence was 3,000 BC. Look at that shit, guys. When's the... uh, No, no, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get a little more detailed. Like, Yeah, all right, go ahead. Boxing in the U.S., exactly. Thank you, Manny. When did it get famous here? Thank you. I mean, you're talking like Jack Dempsey days back. Well, in no, the no, day. but it's Way even before, before that. that. It's before that. that. And let me tell Record, you, that's like recorded. The reason boxing. I'm asking you because I'm going to go somewhere with the the answer I gave about Mike Tyson, and I'll go now while he's looking. He was a boxing aficionado. Man. That web he checker was, right now. He was he was a student of the game. He would sit for hours and study film all in those attic, old fighters. Models films. Listen, Mike Tyson. Like I was saying, everybody forgets we're in 2019. When Manny finds us the date. How many years? And no one. He's the youngest heavyweight champion. And way to go, Mike. No, they come, one of my favorite. By the way, one of my favorites of all. Him, Oscar De La Hoya. Twenty years old. 
20 years old. Look at 20, that. 21 time. 20. Look, they come in like spurts. Like when when people were seeing a Rocky Marciano of like that that kind of fighter that like this guy just knocking dudes out. He's losing a fight 15 rounds. But hold on. Rounds, let me he let me let me, let me defend that. If you watch his fights, he only knocked people out because he was just obviously gifted by nature That's genetically, That's but it. he really if you watch his fights, he went out there and threw the jab. He went yeah. out there and moved his head. His feet were moving. No, no, no. He was, he was working. Boxer, he did boxer. all the technical and elementary textbook things. You talk about things. Rocky, right? I'm talking about Mike Tyson. Oh, Mike Tyson. I'm sorry. They about Rocky Marciano. All, all those things. No, Rocky no, Marciano no, no, didn't no. do half. He no, wasn't half no, as good as a boxer no, no, Mike no. Tyson was. But the thing is, he never got... None of that ever came to fruition because by the time you got hit... With one of those Dumb. blows, that was blunt force trauma. The right. guy was a beast. That's why dude. I don't understand why people think that. But Mohammed so everybody, would be no, no. What I, listen, what I want to say is everybody would say, "Oh, he, you know, he was good for three rounds, then he gets tired." That's bullshit. That happened after the fall, right? Okay. Prior to that, fact check this shit. Go find his fights with Razor Ruddick and yeah. all these people. Then yeah. it went past three that everybody says. And he yeah, still no, no. He was whooping ass. He went in deep waters on some and of those he, fights. Uh, yes, he did. And came yeah. out victorious, yeah. buddy. Yeah, dude, fucking guys, why are we? It's like a proud that, thing man? to say. How, are how are we dominant naturally, and we're fucking stupid? How <laughs> is that? Maybe that's why everything's fucked it's up. A, it's tradition. It's, it's tradition. The the alpha male shit. Like that's in the jungle. I, I'm okay with in the jungle. You like, know, you made a point one time when I was on, having with my on. I was having challenges with when my you son. You don't agree was, with me? Say come on. Come no, no. But let me tell you one. I mean, tell you one time I was going through a rough patch. My son was a. I guess he was 15. So it was like two years ago and he was in that stage where it's just like, and you were like, dude, I, I, I vented you about something and you were like, listen, man, you got to remember something. You said, that's nature. He's practicing for the world outside at home. And you, I was like, wow, that's a fucking good one. Mm. Well, uh, shout out to you, man. You're, yeah, a, you're an intelligent, you're an intelligent man. For a guy that only graduated yeah, yeah, high yeah. school like me, Come on. you're a pretty Come sharp on. dude. I'm you're, a pretty noble You're, you're very right. well-rounded knowledge. So yeah, you were yeah. like, dude, when he, when he you know, puffs up to you, he's like, he's practicing. Yeah. Because he's going to have to do You've that. You've done well, master. You, you know, he, he's going to have to do that in the real world. What do you want him to do, so, you know? And you know what, man? I, I think uh, knock on wood, man, I've been so What is that? Me. That magic. Look, I was Googling that the other day. Like, the knock on wood? Yeah, what does that does mean? <laughs> like, right when you knocked, right, right? There's a wood world where the guy's like, oh, they're knocking. <laughs> and so like, he, he ran right over there and he's like, this one's about fucking, uh, it's his, his son. <laughs> it's going to do with his son. <laughs> And so they're getting down right now. Like the wood, like look, look. I'm, I'm fucking with them right now. It's like the they don't know if it's real or not. <laughs> it's like the cartoon when they open the refrigerator. It's the penguin turning on the light. <laughs> yeah, the shit that we do, it stays uh, with us. Like it, it stays. Like look, for instance, I'm gonna share with you. Shout out to people in Atlantic, my people at my job. Oh like, shit, Hernando. Like I told Hernando and Fabio to forgive me. But I will no longer, like when people sneeze, I'm not going to be saying, God bless you or bless you. <laughs> and they were like, interesting. They didn't really fight it. They were right, like, well, right. is Whatever. there something wrong? I'm like, no, 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 there's nothing wrong. I just want to try something. I go, it's just more like, why do I do it? And they were like, uh. And then I started Googling. I made them Google and research. I go, just research why we did do it. And then you're like, you're not even doing it for the original reason why we started doing it. It's transcended into just... You okay, I guess? Like, when you cough, like, this should be something for, like, hey, because like, like, you just cough, or you fart, and you're like, hey, you know. But the sneeze one, yeah, which is well, a when reaction. You fart, you're like, hey, man, uh, you're a dick. Hey. Yeah, you're a dick. I farted before we sneeze, started the podcast. Like, hey, God bless you, you know, just in case, because I'm tight. Like, so it's like, I don't say anything now. And it's weird, because sometimes I'm in the office, it's quiet as shit. And they would be like, Hush! and I'm like, it's continue writing like a dick. And I'm like, in my mind, I feel like a dick, but I'm like, stand to your ground. Yeah. Right? Stand yes. to your ground. It doesn't Let mean. Let your anything. yay be yay. If, your if yay my, be when yay. my dog, listen, I don't do it to my dog, but I've seen people do it to their animals. But I've seen like a cat and a dog sneeze. Like, I don't say God. I don't, I don't say bless you to them. Yeah, you're right. It's just a reaction. It's just a tingling, whatever shit. You falling asleep? Man? No. <laughs> what the fuck was that, no, man? I'm not. Holy Dude. shit. Well, actually, you know what? Let's fact check that shit. Do you know what a yawn is? 
A yawn? Do you know what a he yawn? Is I'm the, asking you a yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, he's what a, is a yawn. Joanne's baby daddy. I think he's the father <laughs> of uh, <laughs> yawn. Shout out Damn to yawn. Damn, If you're hearing this shit, we love you, man. Look, we think we're no, we're a mimicking. yawn is, what is a yawn? A, is a. I know what it is. I know what it is. Hold on, don't tell me, man. Do you know, Manny? You know what a yawn is? No, with, well, he's good. Oh, that's it. not fair. Dude. Wait, 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 wait. You're supposed to say no. I, I think I know what it is. Did you look it up already? It's like a reaction. No, no, it's isn't it? Reflex. It's an involuntary it's, reflex, but it comes. No, from, it's from lack of oxygen. No. That, yes, look it up, Manny. So, say, like, if say, you're underwater and you're like running out of oxygen, water, like, asshole. and then you start yawning, say, you're gonna say, drown is faster. Yawning from fuck? lack of oxygen. It just says, is a response to fatigue or lack of stimulation. I believe it's it's, it's evolutionary. It it's comes ca- that I know. So it's in the evolutionary so DNA. What, wait, like, that's, it has hey, to be something at one point. That's trippy. Think about that. See, listen. It's like laughter. Listen. Like, you laugh when you're nervous. It's a defense mechanism. I'm going to go on the record and say that... <laughs> this is in court. Like, <laughs> did this guy put his hand on the Bible when he gave it? <laughs> going to the Bible shit. Let's go, go to that go, topic. Go, go, go. We're energy, dude. Did you ever think you'd say Bible and shit in the same <laughs> sentence? It's like, right, right, right after. <laughs> I read a meme. Open up, yeah. I read a Bible <laughs> shit, <laughs> What the fuck? I read a Shout meme. Shout out to Pastor Manny. I, yeah, Manny Cruz, baby. <laughs> Stole my money, motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, I read a meme the other day. It said that I stood up in church and said, fuck you, Satan, and they kicked me out. <laughs> no, like, you had a dream? I'm like, it, it, the meme said, I thought we were against that nigga. <laughs> Holy shit. It said, yeah, he said, I stood up in church and said, fuck you, Satan, and they kicked yeah, me yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> like, I thought we were against this. <laughs> That's a great meme. That thing, That's great. What were you going to say, though? What were you going to say right before that? Whatever happened to Peachy Boys? The Peachy Boys, they got famous. They, I know, went, but they I went on fucking Sol 95 or some oh, shit like that, and okay. they rolled out oh, to the Oh, so sunset. they're doing the, the radio shit. They're making money, dog. They ain't got Good time to make these fucking little videos. That's us now. We're the fucking That's Peachy we're Boys. <laughs> we're, we're doing this shit right now. I see you wearing the Torah shirt. Like, yeah, shout man. Shout out to the Torah. Yeah, man. Robert Torah. Is that um, Ryan Stone's band, like... Like the cover of the album or something? No, no, that's just... I, G, your brother made a shirt. What's but the, what is, what's the I company? know what Tora is. What's the what? company? GM, GM Piero. Shout out to GM Piero. GM Piero. But Tora is the first Tora's five Bibles Tora's his name, book. Robert Tora. Robert Tora. That's his last name. And then I put Robert Ryan Stone. first five books of the Bible. That's his name. Oh, shit. That's the right. The Torah. His name is Robert well, with Tora. With one R, I think. Is it? I don't know. Uh, no, web check that. Web check the No, that Torah, is. That first, is one R. You're, you're right. right. The Jewish Torah is one R. Just put in Torah. So that's him, yeah, Robert Tour. And he uses the Fender Strat- Stratocaster, so I put the Strat. That's your favorite guitar. Right? No. no, Gibson Les Paul. Gibson Les Paul. Yeah, I'm fucking well, Shout out. Give, give me the, the, the background of why is it called a Gis- Gibson No, Les Gibson, Paul. Gibson is the name of the company. Les Paul was the man that made the design. His, his name was Les Paul. Did he, did he play guitar? He used to play guitar. He's dead now. Wow, Les Paul. Just the first five books of the 24. It is spelled how? T O R A? T O R A H. Oh, the Torah. 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 Torah, nigga. Dang, dog. That's crazy how we learn shit, huh? Remember yeah. when we used to do that shit? Yeah. So, yeah, man. Now I'm the guitarist. What do you got coming up, man, that we can hear about that we could go see and stuff? Well, we got some music. We're in the studio now. RSM's in the studio. Crimson Sun is a member. That's a bar band, cover of band. Of course. We're everywhere, though. We're hitting all of Broward now, man. We're in Davie now. We're... What do you got coming up soon here in Miami? They kind of... Oh, my God. I got, uh, let me see. Give some shout out dates right now, man. Let me give some dates here. So we have basically uh, this Sunday will be at this Sunday's Road Dogs in Davie from one to five. Then we have the following week off, and then September fourteenth back at Road Dogs. That's a Saturday night, nine to midnight. Then we're at Black Point the following week, September twenty first. Back to Road Dogs October six. And American Legion, the 11th, and so forth and so forth. So we're gigging almost every week, man. man. uh, That's good. I'm going to put the word out. I think we'll go see one of those shows, man. Yeah, the local shows is... Fuck yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, man. Crimson Sun, baby. I like that, man. Yep. I think our time's running out. Are we good with time or what? Yeah. I think we're good. That's what did you record? Three two minutes. Whatever, man. Peace. We're here at the house. I just wanted to thank you for coming, bro. I, I really appreciate. I'm definitely gonna have you again. Like, I mean, I think you should because yeah. it's only fair on principle alone that, like, <laughs> out of all your friends, I'm like, I'm like your boy. You know, I didn't want to put you too much because then people get mad and jealous and shit. No, you know, they're like, you put me because he's your boy. You he's do, on you, you put me one, and then you put like five people, and then I come on number six. Then you put five more people or whatever, and then boom, and like that. I like that. I mean. I'm down if you are. If not, then it's over between us, kind of, sort of, in a way. 
It was cool hanging out with you, man. I, I know. Been, Let's do it, man. No, no fucking yawning, though, right? <laughs> Later. I appreciate it. Peace, All right, guys. You. Take care. <laughs>